let's actually, because I know Rust is going to be important to this conversation. So uh, tell us a bit about the Rust programming language and why somebody should maybe consider using that programming language over other languages. All right, yeah, that's a fun one. I started learning Rust not because I particularly want, wanted to learn Rust, but because I wanted to contribute to Polars. Just tried using Polars one uh, Saturday afternoon while procrastinating, procrastinating on some life admin. Found a little bug, thought it might be fun to fix it, and got a bit addicted to the process. What people usually highlight about Rust that's nice is memory safety. So Rust has some built-in mechanisms which make it quite difficult for you to make certain kinds of mistakes, which are a lot easier to make in certain other kinds of programming languages. It's also got quite a readable syntax. And nowadays, Rust has been, a, it's been around for, I think, at least 10 years. So IDE support is really nice. You get uh, lots of really nice uh, support if you're writing Rust in VS Code. And I think that's why it consistently ranks as one of the most admired languages in the Stack Overflow developer surveys. It does, it does. That I've seen for sure. And so what is it that makes it easier to program in Rust? Um, it's, I've read, I've never, I've never looked at a line of Rust code myself, but I've heard that there's things related to it, it compiles very easily, you're very unlikely to, to run into, into programming errors that you put in. Well, it uh, compiles slowly. <laughs> I don't know about uh, easily. In fact, most people, when they try writing Rust, they experience uh, fighting the borrow checker. There's Rust, which enforces certain constraints, which make it hard to run into certain kinds of bugs, as you've said. But mm -hmm. also, it can be certain. It can be a bit annoying, especially at first when you can't understand necessarily why the compiler is rejecting code, which to you looks perfectly safe, right. but it's doing you to save you. And you really appreciate right. that later. Like right. w once you get it working, you're a lot more confident in what you've written. Right. So it's actually the opposite. It isn't that Rust compiles easily. It's that Rust compiles with quite a bit of complaining uh, yes. that makes it uh, such a desired language. Um, so it does the complaining for you instead of, I guess, your downstream users or clients. <laughs> I'd say it's uh, if you're in it for the long run, it's it, it, it's a good choice. If you just need to do some quick uh, experimentation, some quick EDA, Maybe not, and I think that leads to one of the design de decisions behind Polars. So Polars is written in Rust, but it's got a Python API. And the idea is that most data scientists should interact with Polars directly through the Python API. That's something they're probably familiar with that can mm -hmm. fit in with the rest of their tool chain. Uh, but development of the library itself happens in Rust. 